Does my shoulder bother me? Yes. It hurts when I lift my arm and even when I do the simplest things like getting dressed, combing my hair, and playing with my granddaughter. My doctor says I have a torn rotator cuff. My grandson has to help me with lots of things because my shoulder feels so weak all the time. The good news is that my doctor can do minimally invasive surgery. And because it's an outpatient procedure, I can go home the same day. I'm kind of worried though. My neighbor had surgery last year and got a bad infection. She had to go back to the hospital so they could clean it out. And she was on antibiotics for a long time. I just hope everything is cleaned and sterilized like it should be. I mean, there's a process that every hospital follows, right? I just want to get it over with, that's all. So I can get my normal life back. And I can't afford to stop working. How am I doing? Well, not great. I tore my ACL a few weeks ago. I heard a loud pop inside my knee and I went down like a ton of bricks. It doesn't hurt much now. I could live with it, I guess. My knee feels like it's going to give out on me and I work construction so my knee has to be stable and I have to get back to work. So I'm getting it scoped. Minimally invasive surgery is the way to go because my doctor says it'll heal faster and I can't afford the downtime. One thing I'm really concerned about is infection. You hear about people getting staph infections. I know it's rare, but an infection could really slow down my recovery. And I need to get back to work as soon as I can. I keep wondering about the stuff they'll use to scope my knee. How do they clean all that equipment anyway? Well, that's where you come in. As an important member of your sterilization department, you and your fellow healthcare professionals perform a vital function the cleaning, decontamination, and sterilization of surgical instrumentation and devices. And this is the device we're going to show you how to clean today. It's a Smith & Nephew Dionics Motorized Drive Unit, or MDU, and it's used in arthroscopic surgery. A disposable blade fits into the device. The blade end is inserted into the patient's body and is used by the surgeon to remove tissue and bone. The debris is sucked through this tube into the handpiece and flushed out with a constant flow of saline. Because it can't be run through an automated washer, you have to manually clean these devices. And as you can imagine, tissue and other contaminants may be present from the previous surgery. So it's vital that this material be completely cleaned from the handpiece suction channel. In the video you're about to see, we'll show you an easy and efficient way to thoroughly clean, inspect, and sterilize this device and others like it inside and out. So please, pay close attention and learn the simple steps in this important training. Please note that these first two steps are done in the OR and are not performed by the sterilization department. Always dispose of any blade used during surgery, following standard procedures for the disposal of biohazardous waste. Disconnect the handpiece cable from the front panel by pulling back the locking collar on the connector, then unplugging it from the control unit. Do not disconnect the cable from the handpiece. The following cleaning steps are what you will need to know. Place the protective cap on the connector end of the cable. Set the suction control lever to the fully open position. Rinse thoroughly with warm tap water for a minimum of two minutes, making sure to irrigate all features of the device. Immerse the handpiece and soak for a minimum of five minutes using a neutral pH enzymatic detergent. After immersion of the device into the enzymatic cleaner, agitate the device to ensure all of the air is removed from the device lumen. While the unit is immersed, clean using the specified brushes from Brushes Corporation or equivalent in this table. With the suction control lever in the open position, insert the lumen brush in the device spigot proximal end of the device, and clean the lumen using twisting and in and out movements of the brush for a minimum of 30 seconds. Using the blade port brush, clean the nose cavity using twisting and in and out movements for a minimum of 30 seconds. Using the fork area brush, clean the dry fork area for a minimum of 30 seconds. 
Scrub crevices and around hinged and mating surfaces with a blade port brush. Rinse thoroughly with warm tap water for a minimum of 30 seconds, making sure to irrigate all features of the device. Ensure that the suction control lever is opened and closed repeatedly while rinsing the device lumen. After cleaning, inspect devices under normal lighting to ensure that all visible soil has been removed. If not visibly clean, repeat cleaning and reinspect. For difficult to view areas, 3% hydrogen peroxide may be applied. Bubbling is evidence of the presence of blood. Please note, rinse instruments thoroughly with warm tap water following any hydrogen peroxide testing. Sterilization parameters. Dionyx handpieces must be sterilized by steam using one of the following methods only. High temperature pre-vac steam at 270 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 132 to 135 degrees Celsius for four minutes. Or high temperature gravity steam at 270 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit or 132 to 135 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. Caution statements. Do not cool the handpiece by immersing it in cold water. To prevent damage to the control unit connector parts, do not plug in wet. Ensure that cleaned or sterilized cable connectors are completely dry prior to connecting to the control unit. Thanks for watching this training. We hope you found it helpful for learning the critical steps in the proper sterilization of these devices. If you ever need to refer to the steps described in this video, please ask your Smith & Nephew sales representative for a Dionyx cleaning and sterilization poster, which describes the same steps you've just seen. It's your commitment to safety and the correct methods of processing that can help make certain that patients and your fellow healthcare workers are safe from infections and other problems that may occur as the result of contact with contaminated instruments. The extra care you take in correctly processing these devices will make an important contribution to a patient's successful surgery and outcome. And who knows, the equipment you clean might be used on a friend someday, or a relative, or maybe even you.